Welcome back guys. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to install Nitex V OptiScaler mod in Control running on my ROG Alive with Windows 11 and Steam Deck with SteamOS. In this game, we play as Jesse Ferran, the newly appointed director of Federal Bureau of Control, tasked with studying and controlling paranormal activities, phenomena that violate the laws of reality. The game was given away for free just yesterday by Epic Games. Hopefully, you grabbed it. We'll be using version 0.7. Preview 66 build of OptiScaler can be downloaded for free from GitHub. We'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section. Expand it. Click on the .7z link. This build of OptiScaler comes with FSR version 3.1.2. I'll manually update it to version 3.1.3. .3. In order to do that, we need to download Fidelity FX SDK version 1.1.3 from this website. Just scroll down. Expand the asset section. Click on the dot zip link. In order to get OptiScaler frame generation working properly in control, you need to use control HDR patch. Enabling HDR from the in-game settings is not a requirement. This patch comes with the following improvement. See, download the patch from PC Gaming Wiki website. We'll give its link in the description. Just click on download this file here. Need to select your platform. If you own the Steam version of the game, Download the Steam version of the batch. I own the Epic Games version of the game, so I'll click on Download next to Epic Store. Download will start. First, we need to install the patch. Just extract the contents of Control HDR patch. Select its archive file. Right click. Extract all. Extract. Extraction complete. These are the patches contents. Select all of the files. Copy. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Open Epic Games Library. Click on the three dots below the games box art. Click on Manage. Click on the folder icon here. This is the games install directory. Need to paste the patches contents here. Right click. Paste. Overwrite. Patch has been installed. Now I'll be installing OptiScaler mod. Open the mods archive file. Need to extract its contents. Copy. Go back. Paste. Extraction process complete. Open TLSS overrides folder. Execute this registry file. Enable signature override. Run. Yes. OK. Go back. Change the name of nvngx.tll file to dxgi.tll. Now copy the highlighted files. Don't need to select the two folders and the archive file. Open the games install directory. Open Epic Games. Click on the three dots below the games box art. Manage. Click on the folder icon here. There is the games install directory. Paste the mod files here. Replace in my case as these files are already present. Now you need to look for a file name nvngx underscore dlss dot dll in the same directory. And there it is. Create a copy of it. Paste. Change its name to nvngx.dll Now I'll manually update FSR Open Fidelity FX SDK.zip file Open bin folder Copy this dll file amd underscore fidelity fx underscore tx12 Paste it in the games install directory This file is already present in this directory so you need to overwrite it replace you can check its version select right click properties details its version 1.0.1.39157 corresponds to fsr 3.1.3 we are ready to run the game i'll just show you the adrenaline settings i have enabled freezing vsync and anti-lag settings connected my gully kit kk3 mask gamepad to ally via bluetooth mode for this game i have set the uma buffer size to 7 gb my ally is running on bias version 441 Install AMD's GPU driver, Adrenaline Edition version 24.12.1 Using a 30 watts manual profile on 3 power value set at 30 watts 900p resolution CPU boost disabled Games launcher will pop up, just select DirectX 12 version OptiScaler frame generation won't work with DirectX 11 version In game settings, display mode full screen, resolution 900p Render resolution drop down to 1066 by 600 pixels HDR disable allies display does not support it. DLSS on, this means the mod is working. Vsync off. 
everything set to high SSAO enable film grain and motion blur should be disabled ray tracing off we are in open optiscalar mode menu by pressing the insert keyboard key from this drop down bar key change the upscaler select fsr 3.x apply its version 3.1.3 frame generation disable for the time being use eternal lens overlay to show the performance metrics press ctrl shift and o keys together it's the hotkey combo for it yeah here we are getting around 48 fps keep the gameplay short hitting the gp bottleneck vram usage is around 5.5 gb yeah fps stays close to 50 just enable frame generation now on show you the debug view no display for the bottom right image other elements are visible in the bottom middle image other displays are working properly show you how to fix this just enable fg attrix setting limit value set to 1 other elements are visible in the bottom middle image so just enable fg extended setting that's it you can see how the elements are not visible in the bottom middle image now disable the debug view let's just play the game fps increased to around 76 can observe the added amount of smoothness games hard elements are not flickering but i am observing some ghosting around jesse's character model when i move the camera in complete circles not easy to observe this ghosting when you move the camera at a normal speed like this this ghosting effect has nothing to do with optiscalar mod even if you don't use the mod you will observe this ghosting effect games engine produces it show you some combat now look at that VRAM usage 6.2 GB FPS during combat use my melee attack. It's a good performance on Alap. This is the game running at high preset. Image quality is looking sharp, but I am observing some texture shimmering. See, fine textures. Common problem with FSR of scalar. Not a fan of it. Even version 3.1.3 suffers from it. Okay, now I'll test the game on Steam Deck, 70 to 80 FPS. This is Steam OS running in desktop mode. I'll be running the Epic Games version of Control. I have installed Epic Games on Steam Deck via Steam itself. Already shown you the setup process. We'll drop the video link in the description. For Epic Games, I'm using G Proton version 9-21 as the compatibility layer. In order to get the mod working, we need to add this launch option to Epic Games. I'll drop the line of text in the description of the video. You can copy it from there and paste it here. Download OptiScaler mod from GitHub version 0.7 preview 66 bit. Scroll down until you find the asset section. Expand it. Click on the dot 7 link. This version of OptiScaler comes with FSR version 3.1.2. I'll manually update it to version 3.1.3 using Fidelity FX SDK version 1.1.3. Download it from this website expand asset section click on a dot zip link we also need to use control hdr patch in order to get optiscalar frame generation working in control you can download it from pc gaming wiki website enabling hdr is not a requirement click on download this file i own the lcd variant of steam deck it does not even support hdr then click on agree and download i own the epic games version of the game so i download the epic store version of control hdr patch download First, I'll be installing the patch, extract the contents of the patch, open its archive file, double click, select all of the files present inside this archive window, drag and drop them outside of this window like this, wait for the extraction process to complete, done, just need to copy the extracted files, need to paste them in the game's install directory. I have installed the game on Dex internal SSD, home, blizzard folder, in my case, 
there is the games install folder open it paste the mod files I beg your pardon patches files here write into apply to all override apply to all patch has been installed the process is that simple now I'll be installing OptiScaler mod extract the contents of OptiScaler mod open its archive file select all the files present inside this archive file drag and drop them outside of this window like this close now you just need to open the LSS overrides folder we need to execute this registry file enable signature override copy it paste it on the desktop I'll execute this file using Proton Tricks. you can download this application for free from discover store launch select epic games here if you on the steam version of the game you need to select control it will take a few seconds for this window to pop up check this option select the default wine picks then click on ok check this option run registered click on ok now you need to click on registry here click on import registry file go to the desktop open c drive home deck desktop select the registry file enable signature override click on open click on ok that's it close the windows go back to the directory where you extracted the mod files right here change the name of nvngx.dll file to txgi.dll just select the highlighted files need to copy them don't need to select the two folders and this archive file paste them in the games install directory right here in this directory look for a file name nvngx underscore dlss dot dll need to create a copy of it need to provide its name name it as nvngx dot dll that's it we have installed the mod now i'll manually update fsr open fidelity fx sdk dot zip file expand bin folder scroll down until you find a file name amd fidelity fx dx12 dot dll extract it copy it paste it in the games install directory this file is already present in this directory so you need to update it update the older version of this file override that's it we are ready to run the game i'll switch to steamos gaming mode connected my cosmic patch stylized gamepad to steam deck via bluetooth mode epic game started just tap on control here now on the lcd variant of steam deck its display supports up to 60 hertz refresh rate so i'll just uncap the fps performance qm settings overlay level set to 2 disable frame limit and alert tearing settings enabled that's it games launcher select directx12 tap on it in game settings resolution 800p display mode full screen render resolution 853 by 533 pixels dlss enabled this means mod is working vsync off medium settings film grain and motion blur disabled ray tracing disabled as well of course we are in press the insert keyboard key Octascale mod menu opened up and just increase its size set scale to 1.1 much better from this drop down bar select FSR 3.x apply same generation disable for the time being yeah here FPS is around 45 not hitting the GP bottleneck 45 to 49 FPS Games performance seems to be limited by a single core CPU performance. Haven't enabled frame generation yet. Can observe some hosting around JC's character model. Just enable frame generation now. On. Back to the game. FPS increased to around 80. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. But the game's hard elements are flickering as expected just enable FG fix setting set the limit value to 1 enable FG extended setting show you the debug view 
Display is working properly for the bottom right image. Other elements are not visible in the bottom middle image. Displays are working properly for the other images as well. Optic scale is working properly. Disable debug view. Let's just play the game. Steam Deck OLED variant will benefit more from this mod. Its display supports up to 90Hz refresh rate. Here we are getting an FPS within a range of 70 to 80. There can be a future big upon few hitches here and there. Like this. In this cutscene triggered the hitch. Combat time. Floating bodies. Floating papers. 60 to 70 FPS during combat. Not bad at all. Image quality is looking decent. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.